Hey, this is Chuck Malone with JK Realty. We're doing a pop by at Security Title. Going to share a little piece of the pie with them today because they're such a great support. Come on and we'll meet Jeremy and Sue. Chuck Malone with J.K. Realty. Hey, let me go down for you. Awesome. Sue, how are you? Good, how are good. you doing? Jeremy, oh man, good, good to, to see, see you. you. Yeah, brought us a little slice of pie today so we can go talk about all the great things that security is doing for us to help us be better agents. Awesome. Let's go. I'm happy to be with you. <laughs> what do you got there, Chuck? Sue, I'm glad you asked. That is, I brought my handbag. And you know, in this business, I, you know, I've been in this business over 45 years. I know it doesn't look like it. No. But I have. I started when I was three. And um, you just, I've learned that you cannot do what needs to be done for your client all by yourself. You've got to have help. And I got this idea that I needed to go out and, and uh, some of the vendors that really pay and play a, a big part in our support, make us uh, better agents to our clients. I need to come out and share a little piece of the pie. So I brought you some pie today from Geno's. Awesome! Get a, that is a... It smells delicious. I almost did not get through the the receptionist. She had me tackled before I... She's just, on a diet. Oh, is she? Oh, well, it could be a pizza diet. Yeah. Uh, that's good. But I'll, I wanted, don't let me forget to tell uh, uh, my viewers, all three of them, that uh, of the great uh, little promotion we've got to help share this uh, pizza with them as well. But anyway, so we wanted to talk a little bit because you are such a great extra hand. Do things always go right in the, the title business? Unfortunately, no, Chuck. You know what was interesting to me is I got more and more involved in real estate and I started uh, seeing that the title company was sort of the behind the scenes. The lenders right up front, they're the first in contact. But think about the title company and think about all the things that could go wrong and often do go wrong unless you have an experienced team and people who really know how to roll with the punches. to say let me out of here. <laughs> anyway. We can edit that in. We'll edit that one. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you let me out of here? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you let me out of here? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you let me out of here? Turn the sucker off. <laughs> here. 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 This is. Excuse me. Can you let me out of here? That's a lie. I know how to turn it off. Sometimes you got to think outside the box. And Sue Regan and Jeremy Eaton are two of the very best at making sure things go right. Now they are the marketing specialists for security title. They're the ones that really are that front face. They make it all happen. And they're a great support to their staff. And they do the training and, and they're out there helping me. They're, they're my extra hand. They really are. And so I wanted to share a little bit of time with you folks today and just promote security title but also call attention add some value to what the title company's role is in my client's transaction we don't we don't hear much you know we bring our earnest money in then at the end we come in for signing we give them our check and the lender sends the money and we hope that in the end everything we're signing that there's money deposited in, in the lenders uh, bank account and so we're we're very trusting. What are some of the things that set security time apart from others, Jeremy? Well, for one, we have over 21 branch locations here in the Valley to be able to service clients. We also have amazing sales and marketing tools and support. Uh, they're really second to none. Our escrow staff are completely trained and skilled at what they do. Uh, we're able to don't worry, Jerry. Provide um, a level of service. This is not a threat. I just, well, I just want to know what sets you apart. <laughs> so, here, go ahead. You can go ahead. I just noticed a little nip here that needed to be dealt with. Sure. So, so talking about outside of the box type of thinking, you know, 
we actually do look outside of the box. I bet that's better. It's all sand and nice now. Cut here. <laughs> it's alive too. Chuck, you're always so helpful. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have more. <laughs> what um, I like about Sue when we first met, and I noticed this lady, there was there was never anything negative that she couldn't deal with. And so I, Sue, I thought of you. I mean, Sue flushes the negative. Isn't that what I we do, do when, we, when most challenges come? So don't we flush just, it away? We just flush it and move on, don't we? That's, That's true. That's what you have to do in our business. Flush so, the negativity. Probably one of the best services that we can do for our clients is to help them explain some of the things that they're signing. And one of the things that they're going to get right off the bat is a title commitment. Now, commitment. To me, sounds like a commitment, right? Right. And what does that mean to the buyer? They're looking at this, and kind of, you know, I sent it over to them. Here's the title commitment. I, did, I looked at it. I didn't say anything wrong. Well, they've got it. They said, do am I committing to a title? And then there's things called exceptions. Aha, the loopholes. I knew there was a, something with this. What do you do about, what are things for a buyer to look at that might be important? Well, Probably the most important thing is for the buyer to trust and depend on their realtor, like you, Chuck, because your agent is going to be looking at your preliminary title report, and they're going to let you know, and so is the title company, if any of those exceptions that show up on there are anything that you really legitimately have to do anything with because most of the time those are things that we're handling back on our end of it. It could be things like you have a very common last name, like your name uh, is Jones. Bob Jones. Mm -hmm. And so things show up on there for other Bob Jones that them. aren't necessarily you or that are not necessarily your problem that you have to worry about. So that's why you want to have us there in the background clearing off all those exceptions and making sure everything's good to go. So you're working behind the scenes, you know, dealing with all of those. Now there's a thing called Schedule B on there as well. So you look at it and you see, well, the, the new title is going to be in my name as the buyer, and then you have these exceptions that you talked about, and then there's these little Schedule B items. And, and it just, you know, a lot of it doesn't make sense. I don't, what do I do? How do I deal with these Schedule Bs? Either one of you. As we both like, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. let's see. Let me reach out for the panel. <laughs> I need a helping hand. Yeah, I need the help. Thanks. Well, you know, even once again, as we were saying, on the, on the Schedule B requirements, the escrow officers are typically going to reach out and let the real estate agent know which of those requirements need to be dealt with, what they're dealing with behind the scenes versus what they may need some help with. Um, whether it's from the seller and what's still on the report, if it's a requirement. So, um, who comes up with those Schedule B items on your report? The the actual title officer. So they do it. They do a, a record search. They do a title search thorough. that goes back as to the dawn of time when dinosaurs roamed to see if there's anything on that property that's going to show up that would cause us not to insure the title. I love that. That's one. I mean, man, one of our one of our dinosaurs. That, you, that was from my trip in Florida. Jeremy, I mean, I know. I'm sorry, but uh, isn't it a great? It should be a great uh, a relief of my client to know that they're going to get a clear title. You know, they're not going to sign and pay their down payment, get the keys to their home, and all of a sudden they get a knock on the door. And it's someone that said, well, what are you doing in our house? Exactly. That's why you're here. Right. That's why we're here. Let's, and that does happen. That, oh, I'm sure that happens. The last thing we want to do is break your drain. That's right. Absolutely. Thank you, Sue and Jeremy, for all you do, for your extra hand, and for letting me come in and cut up a little bit and talk about being out of the box and flush a little negative. I love being with people like these. I, when I first met them, they were both, and they're a team. This is a power team. Sure. So if you're looking for title services, you do want to come to, to Security Title and uh, see Sue or Jeremy and whoever they're going to. I mean, they've got a, a very talented and very experienced staff here. But I feel very comfortable in bringing my escrows. And we love working with you, Chuck. Thank you. You make a great team. Thank we you, do. Sue. Thank you, Jeremy.
Come back, catch the next one. Hey, before we go, I just wanted to point out and send a little message out to the Malone Zone that's out there. Um, give me a call and uh, so that I can come by and do a little evaluation on your home. If you're, even if you're not thinking of selling right now, call me. I'll come over. We'll do a little, I call it an evaluation because, you know, you see a lot of valuations on the, on the internet and most of those are just based on records. What they read, it's not, no, none of them have been inside your home to see how beautiful it is, how many upgrades you've put in. Most of them don't even know that. And so it's really all about marketability. So have me come over. I'll do an evaluation. We'll, we'll see what the price of your home is worth. I'll bring a couple of these bad boys with me. And we'll sit down and have some great pizza together. We'll share a little piece of the pie. This won't be this one, but this one's going to security title. And But I'll bring a couple of hot ones when I come, and we'll have a great time. We'll go through the house. We'll see things that probably ought to be fixed before you list it, whenever you do. And then hopefully you'll call Chuck back. When it's time to put it on the market, I'll make it happen. Because Chuck has solutions.